Hi everybody, I'm Slava from Briora and I have prepared a very special video for you today. So um, for this um, uh, video, I have prepared some specific movements. I'm not going to call them exercises. There are certain movements to develop uh, awareness in certain areas of our body uh, so that we can control them with precision. Meaning that um, when we try to dance a little bit more elaborately, we would like uh, to be able to precisely control certain um, joints and bones uh, in our body so that, the, uh, that we can have the look that we require at a specific time that we require in relation to the music. So these are movements that we don't actually do on a daily basis in our daily lives. We do to a certain extent because they're natural, but in um, dance they're a little bit exaggerated so that we can create the unique, beautiful, uh, you know, visual effects while we move in the room. All right, so uh, for the first one, and just in general, for this whole video, we'll be using an armchair. So you would like to find one that is stable. So we're gonna use the armrests and uh, for uh, this movement. The first one, we're gonna push up using our hands and we're gonna have our feet planted on the floor, nice and comfortable, level off the hips with the armrests. And then we're gonna go side to side, trying to touch them without moving our upper body. So we're not gonna move to the side. So we're keeping a nice posture. We go from side to side. So we go side to side, side to side, side to side, side to side. And then the second one is we're gonna do an infinity sign or a figure eight. So we're gonna try to touch and then we go, go back and try to touch and then we're gonna go back, try to touch and then we go back, try to touch and then we go back, try to touch, then we go back, try to touch and then we go back. Now this develops an awareness in your muscles in your lower back to move your pelvic bone in a certain desired figure or from side to side or in a figure eight or infinity sign yeah with precision meaning that your upper body was stable and only that that uh, part of your body was moving in a desired fashion so as you can see jessica kindly joined us to help us out with um, showing you how this is done so we start with our first movement, which is moving the hips. And we're gonna go up, touch from side to side. So this is a swinging motion in the hip bone. So that will help you with all the swinging dances like East Coast Swing, West Coast Swing, Waltz, Foxtrot, um, Quick Step, Venus Waltz, and etc. So this would help you increase the size of your second step and or whenever the swing of the hip is um, required. Next one, you can relax, yeah. We're gonna pu push up and we're gonna do a uh, figure eight. Thanks, Jessica. So this will be nice if you can control this motion and just develop the awareness in your body for this motion. This will be in uh, most of the Latin American dances where a hip motion is required or desirable, let's say. And then uh, you will develop a very good uh, awareness of your pelvic area and how to move it and which muscles um, use that. Okay, nice. Thank you very much, Jessica. All right, so the next one is very special. Um, um, it helped me a lot in my dancing. Uh, so it is a very unique uh, movement that helps you put all of your balance onto one uh, leg when you dance. And there is a specific action in the hips that will help you do that. So for that matter, again, you wanna plant your feet shoulder width apart, put your hands on uh, the armrests and 
What I would like you to do is shift your weight to the right side by putting your nose over your knee, over your toe. Press down, yeah, so that you can feel your weight over the foot. Yeah, so I'm pressing down with my foot, stabilizing myself with the arms. And I'm trying to lift my uh, left glute in the air, okay? And then I relax and then I shift to the side. I try to put my nose over my left knee, over my toe. I push down into the floor, yeah, and I'm trying to lift my right glute up, up off the chair. And again, I relax, and then I do the same thing here. And I'm trying to lift the left glute off the chair, and so forth and so forth, yeah. With control, yeah, and now I invite Jessica to show us. So now that Jessica joined us, we're gonna show you the next movement. She's gonna demonstrate uh, where we pick up our hip. So we start from side to side. Jessica is moving all of her weight onto the supporting leg, aligning her nose with the knee and the toe, picking up on the other side, the hip bone, and next, and pick up. That helps with dance, and we're gonna show you how later on in this video. Thank you, Jessica. All right, the next uh, movement, we're gonna try to separate a rib cage. So I'm gonna put my hands uh, on the armrests. I've leveled off my hips and the front of my rib cage with the armrests, and I'm gonna try to touch them by separating my ribcage side to side in a circular motion, okay? So I'm gonna move to the side, my ribcage is a very pleasant exercise. So as you can see my head, I'm doing my best to try to keep it on top of my center right here, okay? And then again, I'm gonna try to go to the side and touch the armrest. So I go side, 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 side side touch, 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 and the next one is a circular one, meaning that I'm going to touch the side, then the back of the chair, side, and, and I'm going to go in front. So I'm going to start and I'm going to touch the side, touch the back of the chair, trying to keep my head where it is, side, forward, side, back, 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 side, forward. Now this allows me to control where my rib cage is and different parts of my dancing. Meaning that if I do this, I'll create awareness in my body, which muscles will move my rib cage. So when my teacher asked me, can you shift your rib cage to the side? I already know how does that feel and which muscles actually control that. Because in a daily life, we don't rarely do this type of an activity to the level that we can actually control it at whenever we need it, that we can do it. So now Jessica is going to join us and show us as well. Now that Jessica joined us, she's going to show you how we move and separate our rib cage. So we start from side to side. We, we try to touch the armrests, touch the armrests, touch the armrests, touch the armrests. And we also utilize the previous one, obviously in order for us to touch the armrest, we need to pick up our hip and shift all of our weight. This is our promenade position. This is our hover quartet position, for example. And, or this can be used also in a developé later. So now we're gonna do the circle. And so we go forward, side, back, side, forward, side, back, side, and stop. So this position, for example, is when we try to protrude our ribcage forward. So that when we do a forward extension, for example, 
Uh, your teacher will help you with the use of this positions. What you want to do is you want to develop the awareness of which muscles create those positions. When we go to the side, and Jessica maybe can turn the head to the right, this would be an oversway position. And then when we go backwards, this will be, let's say, for example, an entry to a developé, you know, when you enter your foot. And then again to the side, this will be like a promenade position if Jessica turns her head all the way to the right. This will be where the lady moves all of her weight to the hand of the gentleman in closed position. And again, you can relax. Thank you very much. So that was very cool. Now we're gonna show you how it all applies in different figures. All right, so now Jessica and I are going to demonstrate a few figures where, and I'm gonna describe, and she can also describe as well, how we apply those mo movements that we just uh, demonstrated for you and different actions on different levels and different styles of things. So the first one, we're gonna demonstrate an explosion line in Vini's walls, and also later on, you'll be using that line and positioning in other figures as well but we have chosen that so for that matter we're gonna uh, be next to each other and we're gonna place our feet split and then we're gonna go towards each other so we're gonna move all of our weight just the way we said earlier uh, we swung our hip yes we moved our rib cage Yes, over the left foot for me, the right foot for Jessica. We met in our hand, yes. So as you can see, this is where we move the rib cage and the hip over the supporting leg. Now we're gonna go through middle, and now what we're gonna do is from the middle, we're gonna shift all of our weight the same way to the right leg for me, left leg for Jessica. So as you can see, I shifted my hip, I swung my hip like in the first exercise. Also, I swung my rib cage. I turned my face like Jessica did when she showed you, which this is called a sweetheart position where we're looking at each other, okay? So as you can see, the use of that separation allows me to deliver my different body parts at the timing and desired uh, look that I want inside my body, and of course for Jessica as well. And again, towards each other, shifting the ribs and the hip, as you can see, and we move away, controlling the action, and we have our hip and our ribs delivered over the supporting leg into a very nice sweetheart position. Thank you. All right, now Jessica and I are going to show you how um, several elements of the ones that we practiced earlier apply into a figure called a developé. Uh, developé is used uh, from silver all the way to gold, and we have a version uh, of a developé in our professional choreography with Jessica. All right, so let's start. I'm gonna start with the leader's part. So I'm gonna take a step forward and across, and I'm gonna start moving all of my hip, yeah, and my rib cage over my left foot, aligning my nose with my knee and my toe, okay? So this is gonna give this angle, yes, which allows Jessica to do her part, and it looks very beautiful, okay? Now Jessica is gonna talk to us which elements she uses in her part. All right, so if you remember the circle we were doing with the ribs, that's gonna be the first part. So as I step back and across myself, I'm going to imagine that I'm going to my rib cage to the back of the chair here. So I have a little bit of a contraction to prepare. Now I'm going to pour my weight into my right hip and slight lift of my left hip forward and diagonal. As I complete my developé, there's a little bit of an additional extension in my spine, sort of like how I was at the forward part of the chair. Nice, thank you. Thank you. All right, now Jessica and I are going to show you 
a figure named Hover Corte, and we're gonna focus on a small piece, which is the highlight of the figure, uh, meaning that this is where usually people take pictures on performances of this figure. So we're gonna talk about uh, what I do there, and then Jessica is going to relatively talk about what she is doing there in relation to uh, the practice movements that uh, we introduced to you earlier, okay? So this is not the full figure, of course. So right here, I have moved my hip, swung, just the same way that I did on the chair, and then I moved my ribs, all the way over my left foot and that allows me to introduce sway into Jessica's body as a leader and then that allows me to also look into Jessica's cheek which makes it very nice and romantic. Now Jessica is going to talk about uh, what she is doing with this figure. Sure, so I'm going to actually do the matching action. I'm going to swing my right hip pouring all my weight into my right foot and slightly lifting the left hip to counterbalance it. Then I'm just dancing up and over his hand to create a nice extension. Thank you. All right, thanks for watching this video. I had fun uh, really creating it. I hope you had fun watching it. Thank you, Jessica, for joining us. And I would like to extend special um, gratitude to the people that are still maintaining their membership in our school and supporting us. The people who have uh, donated um, funds on GoFundMe. And also uh, to say special thank you to our new subscribers on Patreon. Thank you very, very, very much.